Hey guys, thank you for joining me here today where it is a gorgeous fall day here in the forest and an absolute pleasure to be out here with all of you. What I want to discuss today is my Stanley Canteen Kit. Now we've talked about this and I've showed it in many other videos, but specifically what I want to talk about today is the items that I carry in it and how I turn this kit into a very simple and affordable 5 C's kit. The other thing I want to do today guys is answer a few questions by boiling some water over my Trangia Spirit Burner. So stick around, we're going to have a lot of fun today and I look forward to it guys. I always have this kit with me, regardless of what cook kit I'm carrying, I'll hang it over my backpack, I'll carry it by itself sometimes when I'm just doing a simple hike in the woods. This ensures that I have the five C's on me at all times, should I need them. This is a Stanley canteen that I purchased at Walmart. It's a one liter canteen and it's stainless steel. Narrow opening for drinking. And then this could be removed for a wide mouth opening. The canteen itself comes with a blue mesh strap with it when you purchase it from the store. I cut it off and removed it right away and I replaced it with one of my braided paracord ridge lines that I made. Military surplus uh, cover that I purchased in a pack of two for under $10 from eBay. Straps here that go over and a clip, a pocket on each side, molly webbing on the back, and you might be able to see the military issue information there. First thing I have is bank line. I have a smaller hank of bank line there. I have a larger hank of bank line here. And then I also have a few pieces of shorter paracord daisy chained together. So those pieces of cordage, along with my 25 feet of braided paracord ridge line, leaves me in great shape for cordage, which I feel secure about. I love cordage, I use it all the time. One of Nathan 4071's ferro rods. This is one that came with a hole drilled in it, and I just attached a lanyard to it. And then around that lanyard, I have my standard handle, which is a piece of Gorilla Tape. I attached that lanyard right onto one of the Molly straps when I put it in this pocket. So if it slips out of this pocket, I'm not gonna lose it. It stays right on there. But it comes off no problem. And I always have a nice fat ferro rod with me at all times. Let's now move to this pocket where right on top is my cutting tool. And this actually opens up to where it becomes two separate pieces. There's a wine opener, and there is a can opener and bottle opener. On the spoon side, there's the spoon, of course. There is an awl, and then why I mentioned the cutting tool, because it has a little fold-out blade. I've put a nice sharp edge on there so I always have this sharp cutting tool on me. So not only is it an eating tool, but it serves several other purposes. And let me show you one other thing about this, is the knife on this, folded back up, has a tremendously sharp spine, and just rips a ferro rod. What I nest this into is the Pathfinder cup and stove set. So that opens up, there's the little stove. We'll talk more about this in a few minutes. The cup, a lot of you might know, just has this little clip. You lift it up. Inside of the cup, I do keep a bandana. One, to always have a bandana, and two, the canteen doesn't nest perfectly into this cup. So I like to keep a bandana there in case it gets pushed down in, it doesn't get stuck on me. It's much easier to remove. This canteen cup was advertised as being able to fit any type of canteen, and they were exactly right. In combination with my container is fish mouth spreaders. And I might need to get some new ones here. I've had these for a long time. And then the lid the lid to the canteen cup. We have discussed our cordage, 
our combustion, our cutting tool, our container, and now last but not least, what I keep in the very bottom here, which the whole kit sits on top of, is my cover element. And that is a heavy duty trash bag. I've shown in many videos that the possibilities are endless with these. I use them as a shelter. I pull wood around on them. I keep protected from the rain. I have covered my pack with them. So many possibilities and such a valuable piece of gear to have is that heavy duty trash bag. There is our simple and affordable five C's canteen kit laid right out there for you guys. So this Trangia spirit burner is not part of the five C's canteen kit. However, I was asked a question about cooking with the Trangia in conjunction with the Pathfinder cup and stove. Favorite part of these stoves is to use them right over the Trangia uh, spirit burner for a stand because it's almost like they were made for that. They're almost perfect the way that they fit over that. It's pretty windy out today, so another thing that this Pathfinder stove does is work as a great windscreen. The Pathfinder canteen and the water bottles are made specifically to where the uh, bottle hanger here or the fish mouth spreaders will hold them. Well, they also do a great job with the Stanley canteen. They open up right around the neck and hold it perfectly. So you can utilize these with this and boil your water, hanging it directly over using the canteen. And I've boiled water directly in this before and there's no need to worry, it's just fine. There's our rolling boil guys, didn't take long at all. Now that we got our boil, I'm just gonna remove that. We'll move this stove and then we'll snuff it out. I hope I was able to answer some questions and give you guys a good look at my 5 C's canteen kit. I think the 5 C's and the 10 C's are a tremendous way to organize your thoughts and organize your gear when you're putting kits together. It's a great concept. I also hope I was able to answer some questions regarding the Trangia spirit burner, especially when it's cooking underneath of the Pathfinder stove. So if you have any other questions, guys, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I always read and answer all of my comments. It was nice to see you, and we will talk to you again down the road. Thanks. Bye-bye.